So mixing it helps distribute the boiling water. A little bit. <laughs> All the people who were worried about me boiling in a bath. everyone and welcome to day four of vlogmas it's been a very productive day already so far we've started cleaning out the bathtub i'm going to show you what we got done there and then just as i was about to make lunch i got stung by a bee oh my gosh it hurts so much i haven't been stung by well actually i've never been stung by a bee i've been stung by a wasp when i was a kid right here and i remember i stood still because people were like if there's ever a wasp or a bee flying around you be still so I remember I was still and it landed on my face and I was still still and then it stung me and oh my gosh the pain today was just like the pain back then <laughs> anyway we've moved location as well let me show you where the van is so it's a bit of a mess the van and it's kind of hard to tell because we're actually just at the moment being shaded by a tree but we're in direct sunlight here and we have been all day because our old spot the solar panel which is just there was in the shade most of the day and it kind of defeated the point of having solar so now we've moved and our battery is a hundred percent which is fabulous the sun is working it's magic so b is working super hard scrubbing the bath so this is what a bath looks like after theo's been in it <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dirty but yeah it's coming along nicely I wish we'd, we had a before. We do have the before we, shot from yeah. yesterday and it looks pretty bad, it's all flaky. The stuff, listen right, when it came off, at one point I was even using the drill bit because it worked really well with the stuff on it. It was like this deep. Yeah, in it was dust. very, very deep. And we've just emptied Plaster. a load. And also, I managed to clear the plug hole, so we've actually got a proper plug hole. Whoop, whoop. And it's quite cool because it all just kind of runs off this rock, which is quite nice. You need to tell them about the plug hole. So here is the pipe from the plug hole. And I just managed to bend this part open, which is good because now it's a fully clear plug hole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pipe that fits into here uh, to a hose pipe. And then I'm going to run it all the way along down into somewhere where it doesn't matter where the water goes. And I thought for anyone who's wondering how we're cleaning the bath, I'm using wire wool, which is why I've got gloves on because this stuff pierces your skin. And it, it really works very well because it doesn't take the enamel off or whatever this is, but it's taking off all of the residue that's built up on there, like the, the plaster paint. I don't even know what it is, but it's coming off. They've obviously used it to plast <laughs> like as a plastering bucket of some sort, a massive one. But it's looking really good. And yeah, that is enamel. So it's cast iron and then enamel coated. So Gingy Bear has come to see what all the fuss is about. She won't enjoy a bath, even though when we lived on a narrow boat, she did spend most of the time in the water. But look at her, she lives the life. Wakes up, gets fed sleeps in a day, hunts, and basically just sniffs stuff. Where are you going, Ginge? Go and see what your mum's doing. Up there on the beautiful rock with the beautiful weather. So what I've got to go and do right now is drive the car all the way down to the well and back about five times so we can fill up our 25 litre water bottle from the well and then we can fill the bath with that water because obviously that's the only way we can get water so far. And this is the water tank I've come to get. It's even branded up, look, the Indie Projects. <laughs> if you guys want Indie Projects water tanks merch, let us know. <laughs> Also, I do know that you can get pumps to go in your well, and that is definitely something we're going to do, but we just need to prioritize stuff. So I'm probably going to order them uh, pumps. Well, probably just one pump, and then we can use it in each one of our wells. We don't need two running at once. And then what I'm thinking is to run the pump 
into some piping all the way to the top of the land into something like two times a thousand litre IBC tanks and then I can gravity feed all the water that we need throughout the land from the top and that means we'll have plenty of water when we run out of there when we run out of water from that tank we can literally just fill it up again from the wells because we've got plenty of water on the land which is one of the reasons why we brought it so time to head down the land and pick up some water it's a little tricky bit here i've got to reverse out of where the van's parked up at the moment i don't know if b mentioned but we moved the van because we wasn't getting as much solar as we hoped because there was lots of trees covering the area so yeah we've moved it and today we're fully charged by 11 o'clock which is amazing so behind all of these brambles is our spring fed well and we've not really shown you much about this well but it's very full and it's perfect for filling a bath at the moment i will tidy it in due course so we're getting up to the bumpy bit <laughs> And there's my 25 litre bottle of water in the passenger seat. But yeah, just drive up through the land. It's a bit of a drive actually, but we will get there. I'm just super excited to have a bath. I'm not sure how many times I'm going to have to go up and down, but I imagine probably about four or five. <laughs> So this is how we filter the water that comes out of the spring fed well because it's quite grubby. It's not grubby, it's just got... Well, uh, no, it's got particles in is what yeah, I mean. It's got, it's got like, like bits of plant and stuff. Plants floating in it and stuff. <laughs> so yes, the water is not clear, but whatever. It won't be clear it as soon as I matter. sit in Exactly, anywhere. so we're just starting to put water in so we can now build the fire. I know some of you are watching are going to be like, but it's still dirty. This stuff is so ingrained. Hopefully the, the hot water will actually break it out well we just ran out of time really didn't we well yeah also tomorrow. i've had enough of scrubbing the bath i really want a bath so tomorrow will be cleaner <laughs> yeah tomorrow we'll we'll finish the cleaning of it and it'll be ready readier so yeah this is a pair of tights over the top of our 25 liter bottle of water that collects and traps any bits really well Okay, so that wasn't even a full bottle because we used about half of this to rinse all of the, the residue off. So Filling up quicker than I thought. Yeah. You may as well get the fire started now, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So this is what we were filtering. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. Nothing too nasty. No, you just don't want it sticking to you really. You know, there's going to be bits floating in the, yeah. uh, in the bath, that's fine. So this is probably the least picturesque wood-fired bath you've ever seen but we've just got the fire started you can see some of the flames just here and we're literally doing it bog basic heating it up directly under the bath and I'm gonna put a piece of wood over here just to keep the heat in <laughs> obviously it's cold right now this is the third bottle and it's getting quite high the fire well, is roaring two and a half I'd say yeah two and a half the fire's roaring, the water is starting to get warmer. It looks like we've already had a bath in it. <laughs> oh, I've just realised, I don't know if you can see on camera, but the water's it's steam. steam. Oh, Exciting time! <laughs> we can be clean! <laughs> <laughs> this is the final one. And the bath water is very, 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 very hot. Way too hot to actually physically get into. I just can't believe how quickly <laughs> It has heated up. I thought I was like in for the long game. It's not even sunset yet. No, this is an incredibly insufficient or inefficient, not insufficient, an inefficient way of doing it. I mean, look at that. Guys, the breeze blocks make it look so bad. <laughs> right now, it's version one, proper ghetto. But version two is going to be really good. It's going to be like a wood burner, basically. And I've been reading loads of information on it and I'm going to make sure it's super efficient. I'll probably be able to use two twigs and it'll have a bath. <laughs> well, this is just, I can't go about hot ears. And I know people are going to be watching it and they're like, oh my gosh, that water. But who cares? It's that's... just like basically bathing in our well, but the well warmed up. <laughs> no, that's, that's no You can no see difference. the steam. That's <sighs> no difference to like a thermal pool. Well, yeah, exactly. When you go in thermal pools, some of them are a bit Do you want me to dubious. add an egg in there so it gives the thermal pool aroma. <laughs> Go for it. 
but yeah look at it the fire i'm not going to put any more in now to be honest you could probably boil an egg in there well yeah i'm not going to put any more in this is just um soot from the fire it comes off but it doesn't really matter i'm not going to put any more in because the water's so hot even putting this 25 liters in it's just going to be there's no way you could get in there yet and i also haven't made a cover like a proper efficient cover for the top when i do that it's going to be amazing yeah this is what I was using, just a big old plank, but it, it covered most of it, it covered, it would leave a little gap on either side, but I don't think it even needed it, you know, this is basically when Theo gets in this bath it's going to slosh all over the side, but whatever, it needs to cool down, so. And this is the residue, we could turn it into soap to wash our bodies with or something. <laughs> it's good, I didn't want that floating in the bath, there's a little bit of it. Maybe oh, I'll go and yeah. pick some wildflowers and I can sit Sprinkle and... them in and just be really harmonious with nature in your bath. How hot's that? Very. Oh, my, even with the... Oh, let that cool down then. I'm going to let the fire die now, I think. Oh, my. Right, guys, so the bath is now hot. And when I say hot, I mean hot! Too hot to actually get in. So Theo's going to have to do another run oh. down to the well and get another bit of water to put in because we've run out of water. Oh. Something just bit me. We ran out of water and it's too hot and the sun's about to set and he really has it in his heart to get in this bath during sunset. The fire's out as well, like it's no longer being heated. Uh, it's very hot. So mixing it helps distribute the boiling water. A little bit. <laughs> All the people who were worried about me boiling in a bath. Pretty accurate. Your, your worrying was... Uh, was for a good reason because it's gonna happen. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not. Oh yeah, there's our makeshift bung guard. So eventually, we've learned a lot tonight, which is great. I'm gonna make a nice cover to go over the bath. But yeah, because that looks make, ugly. I'm gonna trace the inside of the bath and make a cover that covers all of it in wood. And I might kind of like weight it down with some rocks or something. Yeah. So it doesn't just lift up when I sit on it. But I'm just going to have to wait for this to cool down. Unfortunately, it's like peak sunset and I want to be in the bath, but I'm not willing to burn myself. So it's all a learning curve. Yeah. It just heated up so much faster than we thought it would. Yeah, you can literally and see it steaming. It looks amazing. And the view over there, like I keep saying, rolling hills. You can only imagine. You're going to have to imagine it because we're not going to show it. But it is beautiful and that is one of the reasons we bought this property for that view. So. You need to get some water because the sun is about to set and you're not going to be in the bath in time. I need a can of coke <laughs> and my phone and I'm just going to veg out in the bath for an hour. Hey. hey. Guys, look how nice the sunset is. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping that the bath is now ready and I can enjoy it from the bath. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually in the bath and it feels incredible. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Ever since we bought the land, I had an idea of making a wood-fired bath and it's finally happened and it's everything that I wished for. It's absolutely unbelievable with the beautiful sunset over there and a beautiful view over the valley. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're enjoying these daily vlogs for Vlogmas. We definitely are. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Take care, guys. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.